Good morning again, everybody, and welcome to this Tuesday morning, 4th of August, as we continue in our series for this week, as we look at promises that you can trust. Um, promises are made too quick and easily over our television sets these days, but these are promises that come out of the Word of God, promises from God to you as His children. And this morning, I want us to, to consider a, a, a scripture again that I'm sure you would be aware of, you would know well. It's Jesus' words. As, as he says, um, my sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. There's the truth. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them. They follow me. And then he says this, I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. And that's the promise of resurrected eternal life. On, on Sunday morning, James spoke uh, about the Apostle Paul grounding so much of the, his message, uh, uh, his messages, his preaching of the gospel in the fact of the resurrection of Jesus. And, and it's Jesus' resurrection that makes it possible for us to be sure about it because there is always a condition attached and the condition is that we should follow him and and he says to those who follow me i give them eternal life and they will never perish and no one can snatch them out of my hand and following jesus in essence is is what it means to submit our lives to him as as a, he being him being our savior and our and our lord and and as his flock for whom he cares and and the the ones for whom he died and the ones for whom he rose again from the dead he gives us this promise i give them eternal life and they shall never perish and no one can snatch them out of my hand and we're facing times of great uncertainty on so many fronts. And the reality is that there is the potential for, for, for our death through this pandemic. None of us is, is exempt from that possibility. But the, there is also the fact of the inevitability of the fact that we will die. One day we will all die. And the promise that Jesus gives to his followers is this. I give you my sheep, I give you eternal life, and you will never perish. For, for, for the follower of Jesus, death is a doorway. It's not a wall that we walk into. And yet, because of the uncertainty associated with death, we, there are many who are afraid. And yet he gives us this promise. I give you eternal life and you will never perish. And then he goes one step further and he says, and no one will snatch you as my sheep. No one will snatch you out of my, out of my hand. The thief may come, the wolf may come, but you will not be snatched out of the, the hand of, of your savior. That's your security. And, and that's the basis for us being able to face the truth of eternal life. And, you know, I often, often find myself feeling almost a little bit uh, withdrawn when it comes to talking about, about eternal life because there are, there are so many times that we're, we're mocked because we believe this um, and, and Christians are often mocked because, uh, you know, well, that's just um, pie in the sky, by and die, by when you die. And yet this is so fundamental to, our, to who we are, to the confidence that we have in this life, because Jesus rose from the dead, he defeated death, and he gives us that confidence as well. And he says, as my sheep, I give you eternal life, and you will never perish. And no one can snatch you out of my hand. In, in the very next chapter, that was John chapter 10, in chapter 11, is the story of Jesus uh, going to, arriving late for for Lazarus's illness and Lazarus's funeral even and and he speaks to to 
Martha, Lazarus' sister, and he says to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. It's the same promise. It's the same promise. And he says to, to Martha, do you believe this? And this morning, I want, I don't know what's going through your heart and mind. I don't know your circumstances. I don't know how you're, you're facing up to, to the pandemic and the possible implications of it. But here Jesus promised to you this morning. I give you eternal life and you will never perish and no one will snatch you out of my hand. That's what Jesus says. So this morning as you take time, time out, won't you memorize that scripture and then tell him that you want to follow him and you long for him to give that security into your heart and mind so that your life is built around. You live this life here on earth built around the fact that that you are secure in him. You will never perish and no one can snatch you out of his hand.